The Connell Eagles have come all the way up here to Tacoma, Washington on a beautiful December day here to play championship football. This is a team of farm kids led by their quarterback, Nate Martinez, and they're playing for Nate's dad. His dad's going through a rough time right now, and he's, you know, we want to win it for him. He had surgery yesterday and a brain tumor, and they're all pulling for him. You got kids out there like Darnell Whitby. Kid hits like a freight train. You can hear him in the stands. When I'm stacking hail, you do a little workout there, lifting the bales. Are they going to win today? Yep. Last game of my life, I got to make a count. It doesn't get better than this. Oh, no, wait, it does. When your coach, Clint Didier, happens to be running for the U.S. Senate. Jumbo! 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 Spread right, spread right. Charlie 50, 488 F rail. You nervous for the game tomorrow? I'm nervous for the kids. I've uh, had the unique ability of playing some bigger games than this. I played in uh, three Super Bowls for the Redskins, and two of those we won. One of them we lost. Come on, work it out. It's hard to swallow that second place. What do you think it'd be like to go to DC as a senator? It'll be a job. It's a job that uh, it's gonna take a lot of uh, dedication, persistence, but we've got to get this country back to we the people. That was a perfect throw. Nice job. You're doing a few dads. Why would you want to leave the farm and go to Washington? My dad told me a long time ago, if you want something done right, do it yourself. It's time to step up and serve my country. Do you have a strategy written out for what plays you're going to call during your upcoming Senate race? I'm working on that right now, and I think that you got to stay flexible on that. I think if you got a hardcore game plan and you get somebody that blitzes you and hits you right in the face, you got to be able to adapt. It's halftime. The Connell Eagles are leading 21 to 0. And let me tell you what, these kids are playing their heart out. These kids are giving it all they have. At halftime, it kind of reminds me of the midterm elections. What kind of contest are we going to see there? Are we going to see our professional politicians having the same sort of fortitude and integrity these farm kids do? That's a good question, isn't it? I never get into anything that I'm not going to try and win, and I'm going to win. You know, I grew up on a horse farm. I grew up baling hay. And the first job I got to earn money for college, the fellow that hired me at the factory said, I'm hiring you because you're a farm kid. Farm kids know how to get things done. Well, today we just saw a whole team full of farm kids get things done. They were led by a real big farm kid, their coach, Clint Didier. So my question is, can this farm kid make it to DC? Can that farm kid get things done? I gotta raise money. I gotta have a war chest. Patty Murray's already got eight million and it shouldn't be about money. What's gonna happen if you bring hard work and common sense to Washington, D.C. in the package of an NFL Super Bowl winning, state champ winning football coach farmer? These farm kids got things done today. Yes, they did. They had to probably do their chores before they headed over here too. That's that work ethic I'm talking about. Think this is good? You're right, but guess what? It gets better. Stay tuned.